This is my room C3. That's the little name tag that I made in the crop session during Freshers Week. And this is my room. It's my welcome mat where I usually leave my um, footwear. I actually always leave my shoes and slippers here yes, because I, I really don't understand how people wear their shoes where like these days so I always take my shoes off there. And this is the first cupboard near my door. I have my little altar set up here. So I have um, Hanuman, I have my yoga guru, Adrian, and I have Sri Chinmayananda who's my spiritual guru. This is um, a silver tulsi because my mom sent this to me to pray for a good husband every day. So <laughs> I have tulsi here. I have little Ganesha there who's the remover of obstacles. And I have some little padukas here that are supposed to be symbolic of Guru's feet that you kind of surrender to every day. And this is a little bit of Vibhuti and Kungumam, which is like holy ash. And at night is really cute because I have a lamp here, which acts like a really cute lamp for this altar. So at night when I'm praying, I just kind of turn on this lamp and just say my prayers here. I also have this little torch here in this random Mehendi cone from the Pavli that my friend and I are yet to finish. This torch I just keep accessible here because we sometimes go on um, evening walks and it gets really dark these days. So we just take this torch with us. This is a random table. Um, it's just with all the things that I kind of need to like grab and go. So I have my wallet there, I have my mask, my gloves, a heating pad for those bad crampy days during my periods. I have some hand sanitizers that I usually use right after I come in, a few extra clean masks there. And this, I just filled in a few water babies in this. The water babies. I think they look really cute. This is my beloved Brita water filter jug, which sadly does not work anymore because I need to get new cartridges for that. But it's a long story, but basically I'm just gonna get it next time because like I'm gonna leave in a few days, so I'll just come back and get it. So that's there. It's usually filled with water. I have like random salt and pepper. I don't know why it's from like the canteen food, I guess. Below here I just use it as like a storage space. So on top are all the bags and the plastic bags and the bags that I need for like going out or whatever. And below I have my three pairs of shoes and two pairs of formal shoes behind. You can see I use them a lot. They're really muddy, but it's basically where I keep my shoes. My bed, perhaps my most favorite part about my room. I just love, I actually purposely chose to film this video at this time of day. It's around like 1 p.m. And I love how the sunlight comes directly from the window onto my bed. Like... It's so cozy, especially when I take my afternoon naps. I love just like sleeping in the sun. It's not hot, it's just warm. So it's like a super warm bed. And I got this really cute um, duvet and pillow cover set from Ikea from back home. And that is my um, duvet jacket, which I use for sleeping at night. I basically don't want to wear my outdoor clothes in my bed. So I use that as my jacket instead of sleeping in like a hoodie most of the time. Below my bed, I store my suitcases. Like there. Yeah. And I have this mm, sink next to my bed. It's a very random sink. Like when I first saw this, I'm like, why would I have a sink in my room? I don't even have a toilet in my room. It's just the sink. Um, but later I realized that it's, it's actually quite functional. Like I use this for everything else except for using the toilet. So I, I brush my teeth here. I wash my face here. So it has hot water and cold water. But the thing is, this is like boiling hot water. And this is freezing cold water. And ever since I came here, I haven't really figured out how to use this. Like, initially, I used to use my little hand towel, just wet it with, like, boiling water and, like, use it to, like, I don't know, clean my face or whatever. But I don't understand why you have two separate, like, taps. I use, like, how are you supposed to mix this is my question. If anyone knows, please let me know down in the comments below because I actually don't understand. Sometimes I just cup, like, half cold and half hot and then, like, I wash my face. But I actually really don't know how to use this together then i have my uh, toothbrush and toothpaste i actually got this really cute um ceramic i guess container with holes from a thrift store i was actually looking for one for so long to just keep my toothbrush and toothpaste but i couldn't find one with holes and you would not believe i found this in the thrift store and the border of this goes with my wall color and it was just so perfect i couldn't believe i found this it was like the Obviously the only piece because thrift stores don't have like multiples of each piece. But I really love it. I feel like it was meant for my room. <laughs> so I have this. It has holes at the bottom as well, obviously. This is something I kept last night. It's just a box with water. 
basically it's been really dry um the past few days and i've constantly been waking up with my nose bleeding or my like throat really really dry so my friend suggested to actually just keep a bowl of water in my room because i think that helps like humidify it a bit i don't know i think it was a bit better this morning so i'm just gonna try it out for a few days and see if that works uh, the second half of my room is basically the sink my study table and these two like storage cabinets so this is my study table i again love that it's right in front of this huge window i actually have quite a big window it's like three um slits of smaller windows and like if i sit here the sun is like directly <laughs> in front of my eyes which i kind of really love like sometimes during the afternoon i need to close the curtains because i can't sit and work here with the sun in my eyes but i still i would prefer that over like any other thing i have my laptop my little like to-do notepad um a clock i have my pen stand which is actually a gift from my school for doing well in gcse's <laughs> i have my calculator a phone stand plus my blue light filtering glasses that i use in the evening i have my pencil case this is also another cute little thing i found at the tiff store it's just a little ceramic container and i keep my sd cards staplers my earth sciences like hand lens all the small things that i'm scared might fall off so i keep it in there this is my water bottle because i like keeping my water bottle on my desk and this lamp is also really really a really nice lamp so this was obviously in my room given by the college but it's a really really good lamp for the evening study sessions and i have this little like window sill that's usually occupied with a few random things but i did clean it up a bit today <laughs> for now i just have like a few ziploc bags and a coaster it's a funny story about this coaster i came here and i didn't really have a coaster and my friend said she had an extra coaster so i was like yeah sure can i please have it and she gave me this and i was like wait this is a humongous coaster and then she's like oh i thought you wanted like a saucepan coaster and i was like no i want a mug coaster but anyway i ended up keeping this and it, it's, it's really useful you can see there are some tea stains because i keep my tea bag on this um, when i'm drinking tea that's my coaster given to me by my friend <laughs> and yeah this is my study table and my study chair fun fact this chair actually like goes like all the way back which i didn't realize until a couple of weeks ago and this is the view from my room it's off the main driveway so that's the main entrance to my college oh i don't know if you can see it through the sun but this is the view i have some lawns and that yeah that's where my cat pulled up on my first day here <laughs> So I can see that and I quite like it because sometimes I can see like people entering and sometimes I see some of my friends walking there, my supervision partners, and I literally just like open this window and like scream out and be like, hello. <laughs> and we just have like a little chat from like the third floor to the first floor. Hi, Padosi. <laughs> this um, storage unit on my left, I like to keep my like little affirmation notes here. So sometimes when I'm doing yoga, um, Adrian says something that really resonates with me. So at the end of the session, I just write it down on like a little sticky note and I just kind of paste it up here and just kind of try and read it like every morning or like whenever. Fun fact, this I actually wrote on like my second or third day here. It was the first, I think the first yoga practice I did here. And she said this and it, it really resonated with me that time because a lot of things weren't going so great. And this was a great reminder remembering that the universe is on my side and you know i don't know if you guys find affirmations helpful but i quite like them so i have these three up for now <laughs> this cupboard doesn't really have much honestly it's more of a storage cupboard so i have like some cleaning equipment here some extra wet wipes um sponges for my dishes tissues a random clothes line which i haven't really opened yet this strappy thing which i sometimes use for my cycle basket when like carrying bulky things I have some moth balls, locks for my suitcase, like this extra doormat, a measuring tape. And this is my tripod for filming. And at the bottom here, I have my electronics on that side. So I have some, my camera, all of that electronic things. And on the left, I have my towels. So these are my body towels, my hand towels, some kerchiefs and everything. And below, I just have like my extra pillow and a quilt in there so i have extra like bedding things here oh you might recognize from my cleaning the room video that it has like all these names of the past people in this room carved on the um wood which i find quite cool <laughs> this other unit on the other hand is basically my bathrobe stand um i was gonna clean this up but i was like you know what let me make this like more candid and real because my bathrobe is always on this door i hang it here because it gets really good sunlight so it airs well and just like dries well so it's not like stinky and like wet all the time 
Inside this cupboard is my yoga mat, very importantly, I take that out every morning. On this side, on the left, is just like my first aid slash medicine place. On the bottom is my jewelry place, so I have my accessories in here. And on the left, I just have my toiletries and like sanitary napkins and like feminine hygiene things. I have these three like drawers on my study table. I don't really use it for much, to be very honest, because I don't have that many paper things. I actually have a lot, like a lot more digital resources so i don't know maybe this is like a bio natsuki thing but i know like fizz natskis and mathmos have a lot of paper booklets and bundles and problem sheets i do prefer to have most of my things digital so i haven't really printed out much so it's more or less like kind of empty here i have my two bins these were actually like literally bang in the center like somewhere there when i came and i just thought this slit in the wall is just perfect for like the two bins that's recycling that's normal and this is a couch it's a very very nice blue color couch but I really never ever use it except for like <laughs> a clothes like drying place i'm so sorry like honestly i just need it i don't have any other clothes airing place in my room and like that chair can only hold so much plus i'm always sitting on that chair so this has just kind of become my clothes sofa like chair kind of thing i thought that i would sit on this and just use this as like my relax and like unwind place but i never do <laughs> this is my laundry bag and this is my backpack, I just keep it here because I grab and go like every single day using this. It's my cute little avocado keychain that my friend gave for my birthday. I just love it. <laughs> and this is another small kind of coffee table-ish size kind of table. And I just keep a few of my daily essentials here as well, like for dressing up. So I have my moisturizing cream, which has become an essential in this weather. I have a huge like bottle of that. I have my sunscreen, which I also use every day. My two vitamins, so vitamin D and my multivitamins I take every night. And then this is my little trinket tray with some accessories and studs and everything that I kind of also keep here because I use it on a daily basis. And I don't know if you can see this, but it's this really like cute watermelon tray that I also found at the thrift store that it was just so cute and perfect. The other day I bought cheesecake from um, Sainsbury's and this brand called Goo, like G-U, and it came in this really cute like glass jar that obviously I thought I'm just going to reuse. So that has currently become my hair accessories place. I keep my rubber bands, bobby pins, like clips in there. These two are my bandanas and I have a couple of gloves in here because I use that regularly for cycling. This is my makeup little pouch, Vaseline, and this is a little crane that a senior made for me during Freshers Week that I still keep. I've named her Elodie because the senior who made it for me, her name is Ella. This is also another favorite part of my room. I have this humongous bulletin board where I've decorated and just kept a lot of my loved ones just up here. <laughs> so I have this fake fireplace. I'm sure it used to be a real one like once upon a time because these buildings are old, but for now they've shut it, but they've painted it white and there's a little sill. So on the sill, I've just kept a few precious things. This is a map of the college and all this is just like many letters and notes that friends and family have given me that actually mean quite a lot. So I've displayed all of them up here and I have lots of photos of my friends and family back home. Plus that one there is during uh, matriculation. So that's a new one. All of this is my friends and all my loved ones just up there looking at me all the time. <laughs> and that um, shine like the stars, that little ornament I also got from the thrift store. I guess it's meant for like a Christmas tree, but I found it really cute. So I just hung it up there. And you might notice I still haven't put batteries in for these fairy lights. Maybe I'll put it up tonight and take like a video of it at night. bulletin board <laughs> the entry door is my wardrobe i have all of my clothes hung up and like folded down below and then at the top i have this um oh sorry <laughs> i have this other storage unit which i used to keep some more bedding things so those are my extra the other set of bed sheets i have my gown my college gown and just 
the cold the legs and extra things the only full length mirror i have in my room oh yeah i forgot to talk about this this is my clothes drying stand very very important thing in my room um i stopped using the college dryer because number one we have to pay separately for the washing machine and the dryer so overall it's like much more savings for me and number two i found that the clothes don't really dry well in the dryer like they're always a bit damp as soon as they come out so i don't know i just didn't find any value in using the dryer plus i get this really good sunlight in my room in more during most afternoons so i just like open the dryer set it up like around here and like it dries perfectly under the sun so it works well for me so yeah that was my room tour i hope you like how i've set up my room i actually have come to really really love my room i still remember the first day i moved in and i realized i was on the third floor and i had so much of luggage to carry up i remember begging the porter like can you please reassign my room this was before i saw my room i was just like i cannot climb up to the third floor with everything and i was begging him to give me a room on the first second floor and he was like i'm sorry rooms are pre-assigned and like i can't do anything about it and we didn't know our rooms before we came onto campus so i only knew i had this room when i literally walked into my college and i came and saw my room for the first time and i was like damn this is like pretty big and i must say this is apparently bigger than most freshers usually get because of covid a bit of the arrangements have been modified compared to usual other years so this room is actually rated a c room so we have grading from a to g in my college G being the greatest and A being A minus, I think, being the worst. So C is kind of mid range, and most freshers do not get above like a B room. And I, I think, I think this is a very decent size and has all the great things that I want. Uh, number one, I have beautiful sunlight. I, I don't mention this like ten times, but I actually love natural light. Like I love being in a place with like sunlight. I love when sunlight comes into my room. It makes me feel better like during the day, and just. This makes the whole room look like 10 times cozier. And of course, the bed in the sunlight. Oh my god, look at that. <laughs> um, number two, I love being on the third floor because many of my friends do have really good sunlight in the room as well. But they always keep their curtains shut because there's no privacy because they're on the first or second floor. So I'm really glad I'm on the third floor because I can still have the awesome sunlight. I have a good view and I can keep my curtain open and use and like enjoy all these things and while still having privacy because... Not many people can actually see up to the third floor. This is my room and it really has become my home. <laughs> I've tried to incorporate lots of elements of home into my room. So the bulletin board is, was actually very similar to the kind of board I had in my room back home. I'd say our room because I used to share my room with my brother. And the little altar is like our little puja or like prayer worship room at home. But my mom is obviously in charge of but that's my mini version of that. And I've been really trying to keep my room clean because I'm not the neatest person. Like, I will keep things as neat as I need them to be, which honestly isn't that neat usually. And my brother is usually a clean freak. So when I used to share my room with him, he used to get so mad at me because I wouldn't tidy things up, like, every night. Like, I would do, like, once in a week or, like, once in two weeks kind of clean up. But he has really inspired me to keep my room clean. So now I actually make it a point to tidy up every night before sleeping so I can wake up to a nice clean room. And there is not much to keep clean. So I feel like if I don't learn it now, then like I'll never learn the skill. So I try and keep it as neat as possible. So today, being very honest, I did not have to tidy up much before filming this video because it was pretty decent <laughs> since the morning. Um, but yeah. yeah, I hope you liked this little room tour vlog kind of thing. Let me know what kind of elements or things or aspects that you add to your room to make it more homey and cozy and like I'd love to know, you know. I'm really excited right now because in a few days I'm going to be heading back home. Fingers crossed if everything goes right. I don't know when this video is going to upload but most likely it's going to be when I'm back home in Singapore. So I will see you guys soon. Take care, stay safe and have a nice day. Bye! By the way, this is exactly where I align my yoga mat, like vertical. So when I do yoga in the morning, I have this beautiful view outside of the trees. And in the morning, obviously, the, the sky is like nice and blue. And I just I just love this view from my window. It's just this huge tree. When I came, this tree was all leafy. 
and lush and green now obviously it's, it's like shed all its leaves because it's past autumn but it's still beautiful because the the sky kind of streams in through the naked branches if that makes sense so i actually have the most beautiful sunsets through this window and all the rooms on this corridor are aligned sort of east west so behind like on the other side of the room like when i open my door I have beautiful sunrises. Yeah, it's currently almost 3 p.m. and you can see the sun is slowly setting.